John Austin's theory of law, often termed as the command theory of law, is a cornerstone in the realm of legal positivism. Austin posited that law is essentially a set of commands issued by a sovereign, backed by the threat of sanctions. According to him, laws are rules laid down by a political superior, known as the sovereign, to whom the bulk of society is in the habit of obedience and who does not habitually obey anyone else. Austin's theory emphasizes three key components, the command of the sovereign, the duty of the subjects to obey, and the sanctions imposed for non-compliance. This framework is appealing in its simplicity as it reduces law to a system of orders enforced by threats. But is this all-encompassing? Critics of Austin argue that his theory is too narrow. One significant critique is that it fails to account for laws that do not originate from a sovereign or involve a direct command, such as customary laws or international laws. Moreover, Austin's model struggles to explain the role of laws in democratic societies, where the sovereign is not a single entity, but the people or their representatives. Another major criticism comes from the moral perspective. Austin's theory divorces law from morality, asserting that law is law, regardless of its moral content. This contrasts sharply with natural law theory, which argues that laws must be rooted in moral principles to be valid. For example, under Austin's theory, even an unjust law remains valid as long as it comes from the sovereign and is backed by the threat of force. When we compare Austin's theory with other legal theories, several differences emerge. Natural law, as advocated by thinkers like Thomas Aquinas, insists that an unjust law is no law at all. Legal positivism, while sharing some ground with Austin, especially in the work of H.L.A. Hart, introduces the concept of the rule of recognition, which accounts for the complexity of modern legal systems by incorporating not just commands, but also norms that govern the creation and interpretation of laws. Austin's theory also overlooks the social aspects of law, which are central to sociological jurisprudence. Thinkers like Roscoe Pound argue that law is not just a set of commands, but a social institution that balances competing interests in society. This view emphasizes law's role in social engineering, which is missing in Austin's rigid command model. In summary, while John Austin's theory of law provides a foundational understanding of legal positivism, it is not without its limitations. It offers a clear, albeit narrow, lens through which to view the nature of law, but fails to capture the complexities of modern legal systems, the moral dimensions of law, and the social context in which laws operate. Understanding these critiques and comparisons helps to appreciate the broader spectrum of legal thought and the evolution of legal theory.